Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is part two of the NBA players who have never won a ring because of LeBron. Be sure to check out part one on our channel if you haven't already. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. In the number five spot, we have DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan, an all-star scorer, was on the court with Kyle Lowry and the two were having some of the best moments of their careers. However, for a variety of reasons, he was unable to compete with what LeBron was accomplishing on the court as the finest player in the game at the time. DeMar had Kyle Lowry by his side, but it simply was not enough to overcome the overwhelming juggernaut that was on Cleveland Saturday night. The inevitable result of this was that DeRozan was traded in exchange for Kawhi Leonard in 2019, which resulted in the city of Toronto being awarded a title. DeMar is still considered to be one of the greatest Raptors players of all time, and if it weren't for LeBron James, he could have been able to compete in at least one NBA Finals, with a team that chose him ninth overall in the first round. In the number 4 spot we have Paul George. Paul George versus LeBron James in the NBA Finals in Miami were truly some of the best moments of the decade since both stars possessed top two-way skill sets that were very similar to one another. On offense, George and James frequently went head-to-head -head enthralling the crowd with their spectacular exploits. But to be honest, Paul George was not on the same level as LeBron James, and his club was unable to compete with the Miami Heat. Although George had some assistance by the likes of Roy Hibbert, Lance Stevenson, and David West on his team, none of those players could be useful for the Hall of Famers like Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and even George, who got dangerously close to bringing down LeBron. It was just never meant to be. In the number three spot we have, Jimmy Butler. When Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat went on an extraordinary playoff run in 2020, no one predicted that he would be advancing to the NBA Finals ahead of the Milwaukee Bucks or even the Philadelphia 76ers. Even though Miami was a good team led by Butler and Bam Adebayo, the Heat overcame a slew of obstacles to advance to the NBA Finals and face a formidable Lakers group. In Butler's defense, the Miami Heat team was severely depleted as both Bam Adebayo and star point guard Goran Dragic were forced to leave the game with injuries. Butler was left to fend for himself and he put out a Herculean effort, averaging 26.2 points per game, 8.3 rebounds per game, and 9.8 assists per game in 43 minutes per game. Butler was defeated in the finals as a result of LeBron's dominance and the presence of Anthony Davis. Not only that, but Butler also fell short against LeBron while playing for the Bulls, where he developed into a star alongside Derrick Rose. In the number two spot, we have Russell Westbrook. Even though Russell Westbrook was only 23 years old at the time when he made his sole appearance in the NBA Finals, he had already established himself as an all-star point guard with unbelievable athleticism. The superstar player came up in the finals against the King in the Heat, averaging 27 points per game, 6.4 rebounds, and 6.6 assists per game, while only shooting 13.6% from outside the arc. Throughout the season, the point guard teamed up with Kevin Durant to form a formidable team, and he was arguably the team's second best player. Russell was well aware that the difficult job he faced against the Heat, but he was still the third highest scorer in the series, trailing only KD and LeBron James. Even with his best efforts, the point guard was unable to overcome Miami, who were simply a better and more experienced squad overall. Westbrook was also a member of the Rockets club that suffered a humiliating loss to the Lakers in the second round of the playoffs during the period known as the bubble. And finally, in the number one spot, we have James Harden. James Harden had a fantastic season in 2012 earning the 6th Man of the Year award after increasing his statistics to 16.8 points per game, 14.1 rebounds per game, and 13.7 assists per game. It was predicted that Harden, along with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, would have to guide the young Oklahoma City Thunder to a competitive series victory over LeBron James and the Miami Heat. Harden, on the other hand, did not have a particularly productive series, averaging 12.4 points per game, 4.8 rebounds per game, and 3.6 assists per game, while shooting only 37.5% from the field. The Beard's reputation as a star who struggles in big games began in 2012, despite the fact that he was only his third professional season at the time. Hence, he is frequently given a break. Harden, on the other hand, has not appeared in the finals since 2012, and his losing effort against LeBron and the Heat is sure to remain etched in his mind. Unfortunately for Harden, he was unable to lead the Rockets past LeBron in the NBA Finals in 2020, losing short in five games. In his 13 years in the league, LeBron James has already amassed an absurd collection of awards. Three-time NBA champion, four-time MVP, three-time finals MVP, rookie of the year, 13-time all-star, 12-time all-NBA selection, six-time all-defensive team, three-time Olympic medalist, and a scoring title. LeBron James is the youngest player to reach 13 all-star appearances. Only three players in NBA history have more MVPs than LeBron, and only one player has more finals MVPs than him. So guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe to our channel for more banger videos just like this. I'll see you guys next time and have a great day. Peace.